Way back in the analogue era, centuries ago, scammers tried to gain your trust and then the contents of your piggy bank. They pretended to be your needy grandchild or stranded friend. But many people don't have a grandchild, and some people don't have any friends. Nowadays, in the digital age, scammers have adapted. They invent new methods to steal your money and rip you off. They don't turn up as strangers on your doorstep. Instead, they masquerade as someone you already know and trust. They might pretend to be your online payment system. For example, a scammer sends you an official-looking message to persuade you to click on a link. If you click on it, you'll find a website that looks very familiar, but actually is fake. If you enter your login and password, you deliver them directly to the scammer. They're likely to use your credentials to steal money from you, to order expensive things in your name, or use other techniques to spirit away your hard-earned cash. Another method is sending you a link that installs malware if you click on it. Then the scammer can take full control of your computer. He can steal or change your data or encrypt your files and force you to pay a ransom to get them back. Using these methods, scammers defraud thousands of people simultaneously all around the world. Online fraud affects everyone, even you. Fraudulent links can lurk anywhere, in an email, on a social network, or on a website that you trust. So, it's important that you're able to tell whether a link is fraudulent or legit. All you have to do is hover your cursor over the link and wait. Now you'll see, either in a pop-up or a bit further down in your status bar, the actual address that this link leads to. If you see something suspicious, like megahost.ru, do not click. It's unlikely that your long-established parcel service would use megahost.ru instead of its usual address. Sometimes it's not that simple to distinguish between real and fake addresses, but here are two tips to help you spot most bad addresses. Tip 1. Look for the hidden WHO area of an address. Scammers exploit the increasing length and complexity of genuine addresses and the fact that we usually read them from left to right. So, the first part seems to be the real address, for example, www.paypal.com. But that still doesn't mean that it's legit, because what follows are more dots and words. For example, dot login dot authenticate dot secure dot ssl dot host five four seven dot com slash login dot html in this case the who area is host five four seven dot com to find it read the address from left to right from the http or https colon slash slash through until you reach the next slash or the end of the address the block in front of that next slash is the who area the who area is the only part of an address that really should be examined. It's possible to add any number of words and dots in front of a who area. Tip 2. Look for fake who areas. Here the scammers use a who area that seems legit if you don't look closely. But if you do, you might see mixed up letters or clever combinations of numbers and letters. Amazon.de, for example, becomes Amazon.de with RN instead of M. Or Sparkasse Düsseldorf.de becomes Sparkasse Düsseldorf.de. Or Packetservice.de becomes Packetsrevis.de. So, look closely and examine the address letter by letter. And there are other tricks. For example, the use of short link services. If you want to know more about these and other methods, just click the following link. OK, you got me. Good for you. Of course, this is the real link. Good luck and stay safe.